Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. It is day two of our 365 Metcons, and I just looked at this workout. I am about to die. Okay, here's the breakdown. You complete this for time. There are 10 different exercises, and for the reps, it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But between each exercise, you're going to do a 100 meter sprint and five burpees. So, for example, 10 kettlebell swings, 100 meter sprint, five burpees. Nine goblet squats, 100 meter sprint, five burpees. Eight lunges, each leg, 100 meter sprint, five burpees. So it goes all the way down with different exercises until you get to one. And every time you're doing a 100 meter sprint and five burpees. Oh my gosh. Okay, so initially, because it's Saturday right now, I thought like maybe I would film two or three workouts, be a little ambitious. No, just the one. And that's going to be plenty. Okay, so for a lot of these, like there are some, there's sit-ups, there's push-ups. So not all of them are going to have weight, but for a lot of them, I am going to use weight. Use whatever weight you feel comfortable with. Remember that form is always the most important thing. Take breaks. You don't have to like sprint all the way through the whole exercise. Take as much rest as you need. Um, wish me luck. This is going to suck. <laughs> Let's go outside and find a place to do this. Okay, this workout starts out with 10 kettlebell swings. You want to make sure that your knees are checking out of your toes, keep your chest up and your back flat. When you get done with those, you're going to head out for a 100 meter sprint. I just ran down and back to the end of my driveway. When you return to your spot, you're going to do 5 burpees. You want, you can add a push up to these, but you just want to go down to a plank position and then jump straight up five reps and then we're going to move on to the next exercise which is going to be nine goblet squats again I'm just using a dumbbell if you have a kettlebell you can use that too if you're at a gym and you want to go freaking heavy get some weight on a barbell and go for it but you just need to do nine of these you want to go down to at least parallel where your hip crease is coming parallel with your knees and then yet again a hundred meter sprint as fast as you can come back and do five burpees next up you're going to do eight lunges on each leg i'm just holding 15 pound dumbbells in each hand do whatever weight feels comfortable for you that you can do it safely and keeping proper form you want your knee to come right above the ground at a 90 degree angle in your front and back leg. Sprint it out, you know it, five burpees. Now I'm not gonna keep showing you these because it would get very repetitive, but now we're just gonna go into all of the other movements. So you're going to do seven sit-ups, go for arms overhead, two touching your feet. Now we are going to six one arm rows, so six rows on each arm. Keep your elbow back. I have my other arm out for balance. And I'm just doing a split stance. Now, I I don't know if I had ever done these before. They're kettlebell windmills. And you're gonna do five on each side. The arm, like the leg that has the arm up, that's gonna be what you're putting all of your weight into and shifting your hip over to that side. Just practice with it, go light until you get the hang of it. Now you're doing four single leg deadlifts on each leg. Keep that weight nice and close to your shin. Then three push-ups. You would go down to your knees if you need to or do handstand push-ups. Two single arm overhead presses on each arm. And lastly, a Turkish getup. One on each side and I'm just using that same 15 pound dumbbell. If you can go heavier, go for it, but just make sure that you can do it safely. And that is it. Thanks so much for listening. Okay, I just finished that workout. 
Took me 16 minutes and three seconds. I did stop and start a little bit to like, so I wasn't wasting all of my battery and storage when I went sprinting. So I did like stop and start the camera a few times, which I'm sure took up a little bit of time. But that was a killer workout. I hope that you try it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to Steph's website, strongfigure.com. You can find all of our social media information in the description box, as well as the full breakdown of this workout. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss these workout videos. They're gonna be coming like rapid fire, I swear. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, bye.